Hey ladies, this is Lisa, and um, I finally finished my wall hanger um, picture frame from the kit the Regina put together. Um, so really quick, I'm going to show you um, what I created with it. Um, this is the final um, finished product. Um, I'm really happy with it. I wanted more of the girly kind of look. Um, she included the cork board in the kit and I did not use it at all. I didn't use the create or inspire um, either. Although I might put the create down here. I don't know yet. Um, so here's the hanger. I haven't used um, the Love 2 yet, but um, this is what I did. I ran my piece of chipboard through the script um, embossing folder um, from Cuddlebag. And then I painted one inch all the way around. I didn't paint the whole thing. Just one inch all the way around um, with the antique linen Distress Crackle paint. And then I used my heating tool to, um, you know, make it go faster, dry it faster. And then I used the Funky Vintage um, Deep Sea paint um, with this little sponge here and I also use the um, specialty glaze in gold for making memories and the sponges that I even use I get them at Big Lots and they're 80 cents a pack and there's 12 of them in here and I love these things I cut them in strips as well and use them on my alligator clip um, little tool they're perfect for inking up edges and stuff so then I just glued this section down as you can see I rubbed the paint and then the gl specialty glaze kind of looks like shimmers. Um, it's really shimmery. Um, it looks like Tattered Angels or, you know, just really shimmery. Um, the shimmers. So, I glimmer misted the flowers. And these are the three colors of glimmer mist that I used. I used the Rib Tie, the Peppermint Stick, and the Dreamsicle. Because I really um, liked this paper here. Um, so I picked up the colors from that paper and then I inked up the edges right here with the same sponge, same color and then I did the dreamsicle glitter mist all the all over it. Um, so then I created the bottom portion as well and then like right here there's a little corner tab and then I just cut these out of the paper and I love this one, inked pads. Um, so I just kind of stuck them in there just because I like the look. This is a pocket as well. I'm not sure what I'm going to stick in there, um, yet, but maybe, um, like a little pencil or something. Um, and then with the extra piece of chipboard that she included in the kit, I created a clipboard. And this hinge clip, the Tim Holtz hinge clip was not in the kit. It's something that I had. The safety pin was in the kit, and then these were just leftover charms that I had um, laying around. So I just kind of dangled them from there. I just thought that it needed something there. And then with the paper, I created a little notepad and um, planned to put pictures in it. So this is more, I mean, like a mini album if you, you know, just depending on the way you use the the kit so lots of possibilities for pictures I added the glue dots in the back but I haven't positioned it down yet because I wanted to show it to you and then the tags um, I glimmer misted them and um, I have something going right here um, so then I just cut out this these patterns out of this paper here and um, just kind of created a little flap and then this is glued down um, completely. So, and then with this tag, I used the doily, and I just folded it in half, and then just slipped it through the bottom, and then folded back the corners and glued them down. And so I created a little pocket. And then I created these two tags with poked out paper, and then this flaps up, so you can put something um, in there. And then this is a tiny little pocket. Um, as well, and then the um, the string that came on the bigger tags, um, I took it off, and when I was glimmer misting the flowers and stuff, 
You know how you always get the puddle of glimmer mist? Well, I rolled the string in the um, puddle of glimmer mist, so nothing went to waste. So I hope you like um, my little take on Regina's um, kit. So I'm going to go ahead and glue those down now that I've showed you. And a really cool trick um, that I've learned with these is if you heat them up with your heating tool, you get a better um, adhesion because those um, Zot glue, glue dots are so, um, are so thick. So there's my um, little creation, ladies. Um, I just loved it. So I did have, you know, stuff left over from the kit. And with the acetate piece, I created these, um, and they look like little clipboards. Again, I used um, this paper here, so I cut one of these out, and then I just cut it in half. So it reminds me of the little clipboards, so going with the clipboard theme. Um, I don't know what I'm going to put on these yet, but I will figure something out. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.